Hey there guys, I'm William from House by the Video Store, and this week I'll be discussing the fourth episode of Season 5 of The Walking Dead, entitled Slamtown. Now this episode picks up with Beth's storyline after she disappeared at the end of the prior season. Uh, it's one of those episodes that kind of grinds things to a halt compared to the prior episodes. So the first three episodes were surprising to me because they covered about as much story as The Walking Dead usually covers in a half season. They took out the Hunters, escaped Terminus, and introduced a new character. They have then kind of slid back into what used to happen where you have an episode with a very small number of characters and nothing really happens. Beth wakes up in a hospital and she finds out that she is their guest slash captive uh, where everyone's forced to keep up their own end of the bargain and work. Uh, so she has to help in the hospital area with the doctor. And the doctor turns out to be one of the characters at first who seems like a nice, reasonable person, but is found out to just be a coward who will let someone else die just to make sure that he's the only doctor on the premises. There's also a rapey cop and a cop who's barely in control, the, the head cop. Just to kind of let you know how much I like this episode, I don't really even remember any of these side characters' names, because uh, it's just one of those little excursions where you have nameless characters one, two, and three, before they get knocked off and you get back to the main storyline. So throughout the course of the episode, uh, not a lot happens. Beth tries to escape and fails and gets brought back into the hospital. Uh, and at the very end, she sees Carol come in on a gurney. So that just kind of leaves things open for the next episode to be the one that actually has all the action happen. Uh, so that's kind of a disappointing slow to the action compared to what happened in previous episodes. But due to the fact they have as many episodes to cover as they do, I would have to think after they move so quickly with the prior episodes that they're going to have to do some slower character work in these episodes leading up to the mid-season break. So his next episode will be the one where you actually get to see, most likely, how she escapes or doesn't escape, or who's with Daryl when he runs into Rick and crew at the end of the prior episode. So if you like this episode and disagree with me, let us know in the comments. Also, uh, you can hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or our website at housebythevideostore.com. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week.